This video is sponsored by Lovo, but more about that later in the video. Lovo AI and Steve AI, the perfect combination for animated videos. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right guys, let's go check it out. If you're looking for a voiceover for your next project, why not consider an AI voice generator and text-to-speech platform called Lovo? It uses realistic AI voices that will captivate your audience. Lovo is the go-to AI voiceover generator and text-to-speech platform for over half a million creators, saving them 90% of their time and budget. Experience the full power of cutting-edge text-to-speech, online video editor, AI voices, AI art, and an AI writing generator that delivers premium results for your next project. With over half a million users, you know you're in good company. You can use Lovo for advertising, education, explainer videos, YouTube videos, corporate training, audiobooks, podcasts, social media, product demos, and customer service IVR. Let's go inside Lovo and I'll introduce you to Jenny. Jenny is feature rich and gives you unparalleled voiceover production powered by realistic AI voices. Not only that, but you now have the power to not only produce professional videos with realistic human sounding voices, you can even use Jenny's AI writer to create your video or audio script. It includes a powerful, easy to use video editor so that you don't have to use multiple softwares to get your video produced. You can even use their AI art generator to create original images to include in your videos. Jenny from Lovo allows you to be able to select over 100 different voices from around the world. So why would you want to use AI voiceovers instead of real human voices? Number one, if the language you're using isn't your main language, you can use Lovo's AI voiceovers to give you a native sounding voice that suits that country's audience. Number two, it's faster than trying to use your own voice or hiring a voiceover artist to create the voiceover. Number three, you don't have to re-record your voice every time you make a mistake. And number four, it's cheaper than hiring a professional voiceover artist. At the moment, Lovo has a special 50% discount for a limited time. Grab a yearly pro account for a whopping 50% off. Right now, you can join Lovo for only $24 a month when you grab the yearly subscription. Link is in the description down below. So grab Lovo today. I know you'll love it as much as I do. What they do is their own little area here called Jenny, as you can see just here. Now Jenny is within Lovo, and all you have to do if you want to get started is hit create new project. So we'll just do that. And then, but today, instead of creating a video, we're going to be creating a voiceover. Now they've got some really good voiceovers, and then we're just going to hit create. And in just a moment, it's going to take us to the main area where we can create our voiceover. All right, so what I want to do first off is create a script to be able to put in all here. Also, too, I can choose my voices if I want to. I'm going to choose another voice, not this one. I'm not going to choose Kyle. I'm going to choose one of the pro voices. And I'm thinking, let's have a listen to what he sounds like. Welcome back to another video. We're going yeah, to loop. talk about... It's going to have a look at this one. Trust me, I know how money works. You want to make a lot of money, champ. You got to... Okay. okay, that'll do. Now I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to use this one here. So cl click on that. Now you can choose a whole bunch of others if you wish to. And of course, I'm going to just go change speaker. And we're going to go back over here. And it was Mike we chose. So we're just going to choose him again. Now, what we need to do is go hit um, AI Writer and click on that. And this will prompt us to do what we're going to be doing. But today we're going to be creating a YouTube video. So we're going to click on that, hit next. And then we're going to be putting down our description of what we want the AI writer to write. Now, they, they do use GPT-4. So, you know, it's the latest of the ChatGPT software. So I'm just going to just quickly type in here. Okay, what I put down here is create a YouTube script about how to get AI to change PLR eBooks. Please discuss the different licenses like MRR, RR, and PUR, and PLR. Make it friendly. Also discuss the best way to use AI to edit PLR content. Okay, so who is your audience? My audience are people interested in making money online. What is your objective? My objective is to 
educate my audience on how to edit PLR using AI. I'm going to call this one a tutorial. How long? We're going to go for about five minutes on this one. I'll make it, make it about six or seven minutes. I'll make it six minutes. It won't necessarily create a six minute video and we're going to be making this one friendly. Okay, now just hit create and it'll create the script for us. So I'll just pause it until it's ready. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to hit edit because I can see that there are things we need to change and get rid of. So because you want it to read out the script for you, you don't want to have things like title, the word title in there. In fact, I might even get rid of that. We get rid of the word intro and host. We get rid of the word hosting or host and we'll get rid of the word segment. We'll just make that number one. We'll get rid of that and we'll put a full stop there. Okay, so I'm just going to muck around with this. Put that there, put a full stop there. And when I finish doing that, I will come back and we will continue on with the video. I'll quickly cover what I did to edit this. Now, I took away some of the prompts, for example, things that say conclusion or introduction, or anything like that. So I removed all that. Anything that said host, I removed all that because you don't want it to say host and then say the words because this is what it's going to read out exactly as it's written. I also separated the AI from each other because sometimes it just says A or I. If it, if it reads it out and it doesn't actually say the say this AI. So by separating it like that, it allows it to say AI correctly. And also too, when I had RR from experience, I noticed that it said RRR. So I had to separate them to just make it RR and make it, you know, resale rights and so forth. And I also made sure I separated each and every single place there is a, oh, there's one just there, natural break, like for example, a full stop get that and can bring it down to a new line because we're going to be putting this straight in to Steve AI to be able to create an animated video. Okay, so I'm just going to copy all of this, put this into a text document so as we can add it straight to that. So I'll bring that over here, place, paste that straight into there and there we can have it. So now we have to do is go add to project and what this is going to do is it's going to create the, the artificial intelligence voice as well. So once it's finished, we'll get rid of these two because we don't need them because they're just blank screens and we don't need blank screens. We'll go delete. We'll also delete this one as well. We don't need those. And then what we have to do is click on select all. And then you see this arrow just here, it says generate. What that's going to do is it's going to go through every single one of these and then it's going to generate the voiceover. So I'll pause the video until it's finished. Okay, now let's have a quick listen to this. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Product Creation Formula, where we dive into AI and how to edit PLR content. In today's video, we're going to discuss an exciting topic, how to harness the power of AI to edit PLR eBooks and ultimately increase your profits. So let's get started. Okay, so that's what we that's what is created. I'm just going to assume it's all okay because I've separated each and every single one of them to the best of my ability. If you happen to find one where there is a natural break and there's a full stop there, all you have to do is click on it and then hit enter and it will then separate it for you and create a new one. And all you have to do is just refresh that particular one if you wish to. But I'm going to assume it's all okay and we're now going to export this to where we want it. And then we're going to be moving across to Steve AI. So I'm going to call this one here. PLR and AI going to download it as an MP3 and we can just hit export. Okay, so what else we're going to do is going to go over here to Steve AI. If you don't know what Steve AI is, it's a place where you can get animated videos, which is text to animation. So we're just going to grab this content here, grab everything, every single bit here, and then we're just going to grab all of that and put it straight into Steve AI. So we copy that and we're just going to hit text to animation, hit start. We're not going to worry about this section just here, get rid of that. And all we have to do is hit Control V to paste all that in. And in just a moment, it will paste it all the way down. And then I'll show you what else has to be done after that. Okay, so I've just discovered it's going to go, it's going to take away this and we'll have to take that across to the next line, space that out. Okay, so as you can see where it's number one, number two, we just have to take that back up to the correct line. I forgot about that aspect of this, so we'll just take that up. And when we get to this last one, take it up and then just put a space there so as it's more natural. Okay, so this one here is a little bit too long, so we're going to have to take it to the to that section just there. Hit enter twice, and there we have it. Now it'll fit on there, no problem at all. Okay, so what I also need to do now is I'm going to make this one AI, which I might make that one ebooks and AI. Then we're making that animation, 
all the sources, and we're going to be, we don't need the music, but I might just leave the music on there, I might take the music off, and we're going to hit next. Now, the reason I'm doing that is we're going to have to use a separate editor to be able to add the audio, because for the reason being, Steve AI isn't quite where it should be when it comes to marrying up the sound and the audio at the same time. So I'm just going to click on there, and it's now going to create the scenes for us, and we'll be right back. Okay, so with this, we can extend it out a little bit as we go. Every frame you go through, you just extend it up by one or two seconds. You want to make sure that you have enough room for everything here, because we want to be able to, when we put it into our other one, we can then remove some sections from it if we need to. And I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Now I've gone through and I've added an extra second or two to each frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit publish and this will publish this. Now I'm going to also make sure that I create this as 1080, which is 1080, 1080. And I'm going to call this one here PLR and AI. And we're just going to hit download and this will take a while. So I will pause the video until it's finished. Well, okay, now that they finished rendering, what we need to do, and we're going to just hit download on this one. I'm going to pop this into my desktop. And I have one called PLR and AI, and that's the one I want. And I'm going to drop drop the video in there. Oh no, that's the audio. Now I'll also do the same for Steve AI as well. I'm now just going to hit download. This will most likely put it in my download folder, which means I'll just have to transfer it across. So we'll just bear with it for a moment while it does that. Yeah, this is the video from Steve AI. So all I have to do is just left click that, drag it across to here. And when it comes up, I hit move to here. And that'll allow the video to come in there. Maybe our Dropbox and Give it a moment or two and it'll make it right. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go over into my video editing software. Okay, so now what we have to do is just import the video and the audio together and line them up. So I'm just going to go import. And of course we have to go to our desktop, which is where I was keeping it. And I kept that under PLR and AI. Double click on that. I'm going to grab both of those and we're just going to open them straight up into the media bin. and. When that's finished loading up down here, we will then place them on the timeline. First thing you're going to do is grab the actual video itself. It might take a moment or two to think about what it's, what it's doing. Once it's finished doing that, we can then start adding the audio and putting it in line with what the video is doing. Okay, so we've got that. And then what we have to do now is add the audio to this. Now, the audio may not line up exactly. I don't know. We'll have a look. Okay, so the audio goes a little bit longer than the actual video itself. That's okay because we can do things to make that last a little bit longer. So let's have a quick look and see whether or not we can do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Product Creation Formula, where we dive into AI and how to edit PLR content. In today's video, we're going to discuss an exciting topic, how to harness the power of AI to edit PLR eBooks and ultimately increase your profits. So let's get started. One, understanding. Okay, so we're just gonna pause it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this up. So as you can see, it's just about to change. So, but it started saying one around here. So we're just going to cut that a little bit. Remember, it's just the audio, so the audio can be moved over. So where it starts to change. Understanding license. There we are. You see how it started perfectly just there? This is MRR. Oops. Okay, let's shrink that down just a little bit because it's going to take up too much space. I said I had to separate it. Get rid of that. P U R and P L R. Okay. Yeah, let's bring those together. Let's have a look. Let's have a listen. MRR. R R P U R and P L R. Before we delve into the world of AI editing, let's first talk about the different licenses that often accompany PLR content. Understand. Okay, so you see how that is? Now all we have to do is find where it slices just there. We can just take it to the center here. Let's hit slice. And we'll just move that up just a little bit. To about there. Understanding these licenses will help you make the most of your PLR ebooks. Firstly, there's. Okay, you see how it's jumped in before it was ready? Just click it on there, just hit slice and move it across until it lines up. Firstly, there's mass. Okay, so it didn't quite line up, so we just have to take it across a little bit more and see how it goes from there. Firstly, there's master resell rights, MRR which allows you to sell the PLR ebook to others and grant them resell rights as well. Okay, so that went a little bit too long for the audio. So that's a, that's okay. We can actually shrink that down just a little bit as well. Or we can drag it over just a little bit more so as it still fits within the frame. So we go like that. Firstly, there's master resell rights, MRR, which allows you to sell the PLR ebook to others and grant them resell rights as well. Resell rights. Okay, so that's good. 
So what we need to do, you see it jumped across to the other screen. This is where it starts getting a little bit tricky. We need to start figuring out what we can do about extending this out a little bit. Okay, so it's changed over there. As well. Okay, so we can slice that and drag it across a little bit. Slice that just there. Get hold of this and then drag it across just a little tiny bit. Too much. Drag it over just a little bit to make it fit within the frames. Resell right. RR. Provide the ability to sell the ebook, but without granting further. Okay, so I think I might need to drag that across just a little bit here. Or even, yeah, I'll shrink that down just a little bit. Demolish that. Drag it across. Go across the other side and drag all this over. There we are. Hopefully that'll fit in now. We'll find out. Sell rights as well. Resell rights, RR, provide the ability to sell the ebook, but without granting further resell rights. Okay, so it kind of, I obviously didn't make that frame long enough, so that's okay. We'll see how we go from here. Private use rights, PUR on the other hand, allow you to use the ebook solely for personal purposes. Okay, that worked out well. That's okay, it balanced itself out. Lastly, we have the popular option, private label rights, PLR. Okay, so this is good. So all you need to do is just line them up and do what I'm just doing here, and you'll find that it is not going to give you too much of a problem. Now, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the combination of Lovo and Steve AI. Also, to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that or poke me in the fire with your finger, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.